Hey gang, and welcome back for another video here on Joe Chem. Okay gang, so in this video, we're gonna talk about lengthening carbohydrates. That's right, sometimes carbohydrates, they're just too short. Take it from this short guy, and maybe you wanna make them longer. There's a way to do it. There's a way to take a carbohydrate, say you have a pentose, for example, right? Say you have this lovely aldo, pen, aldo pentose, and you want to make it into an aldo hexose. Well, that's possible. So what you can do with HCN, and I've commonly seen dye ball, but there is, uh, you know, various other like uh, workup or um, the uh, re reducing final step reagents to get you to the finish line. But dye ball has been something I've seen pretty you know, commonly in my, the, you know, students that in classes I've worked with. So if you have this, what do you get? Well, you'll go from having one, two, three, four, five carbons to something like this. The bottom of the chain stays, you know, because what's happening really is, and I'll explain this, is that you're going to attack this carbonyl. You're going to interact with this carbonyl, and it's from there that you're going to kind of add an extra layer. So the first three, one, two, three, um, stereo centers are exactly what you see here, but the one you add, what you end up seeing is you generate two products and they are both epimers. And we will explain how this happens and why it is observed. Okay, so, okay, cool. So you'll end up getting two different types of products. Here's what happens. Here's how this reaction proceeds. So this very first step, right? You already know it. It's actually just cyanohydrin formation, right? We definitely worked with aldehydes before and submitted them uh, under um, hydro hydrocyanic acid. What happens, right, is you'll have, uh, you know, the cyanide attack right here, and then you'll have acidic workup like that. So remember, this is an sp2 carbon. It is trigonal planar. So there's absolutely no preference for the cyanide to attack on the bottom or the top. And it's that fact as to why, right? Because what we see here is one, two, three, four, five. And then this is the incoming sixth carbon. One, two, three, four. So it's the fifth carbon that we expect to have a 50-50 result in terms of having one, you know, one stereo configuration and the opposite. And that's what we see. So that's why when you do this chain lengthening, it's at the, you know, that kind of the last new chiral carbon, chiral carbon meaning having stereochemistry, that you get this opposite uh, result. So it's, you know, if I will finish it off uh, or kind of show you an inter intermediate type step, you kind of, and I'll just show this product right here. You have this, OH, OH. And then it is your dye ball or whatever you decide to use to, uh, because this nitrile is at two, you know, it's two, this carbon is two oxidized, if you will. Uh, we need to kind of reduce it down. So that's, you know, dye ball would be your source of H minus hydride, for example. It'll attack, it'll reduce it, and you will go from a nitrile to a, uh, an aldehyde, right? And of course, the same exact result would happen, but of course, if this OH was on the left-hand side, you would get this product over here. So, I mean, it's a bunch of stuff you already knew, gang, right? So if you're a little shaky on cyanohydrin formation, you know, at this point in the game, if you're doing carbohydrates, you might not have to draw the mechanism, but it never hurts to revisit the cyanohydrin video on Jochem if you're looking for a refresher or just for nostalgia. You know, we had good times back then. We have good times now. With, those were great times back with ketones and aldehyde. So that does it for lengthening carbohydrates. So if you're watching from YouTube, hey, you're the best. I'm so glad you found Jochem. Make sure to check out my website. Same videos, but there are worksheets and solutions paired with the videos, all for free, 100% free, no strings attached. If you're watching from Jochem, then you're a baller. Thank you so much for supporting the website. And no matter what, I hope to see you all in the next video.